Hello and welcome to the SCLE podcast. My name is Erin Dodge and I'm here with Mary Ellen Brax and we're going to talk about story times today. And for those who haven't ever been to a story time, you tell us about what they are and who they're for. Yeah, so our story times are for children ages up, up to about age five, okay. age five or six. Um, right now we have family story time, which is geared towards ages two to five and their family. So the whole okay. family can come. If you've got younger babies at home, please bring them. Okay. Um, and if you have older kids at home, please bring them. Okay. So <laughs> everybody can enjoy story time. But basically they are lots of reading, okay. lots of songs, lots of finger plays, uh -huh. Lots of flannel stories and lots of activities, and I and I've attended a story time or two, and and it's, kids can really kind of get the wiggles out and and oh, participate, yes. mm -hmm. and the stories can be fun and and funny, mm -hmm. and um, sometimes even a little serious or <laughs> a little scary, but yeah. then woo, fun again. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So it's like a, it's a little it's like a little show. Mm -hmm. Yes, where where a librarian or some staff are, are reading the books mm -hmm. to the kids with the kids. Yeah, um, very interactive. Very interactive. That's the mm -hmm. word I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, we're, and and what 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 do you think is the best thing about story time for the kids? What do you think? You know, for the kids, I think it's all about finding those books that they love, and oh. so we're really trying to inspire this love of reading. Then, unbeknownst to them, we're also working on getting them ready for kindergarten. And we're also modeling for the adults that come with them yes. um, just different things that they can do with their children that will help get them ready for kindergarten. And I think that's uh, your staff and, and the librarians do really well. Is it's You can read a book, and, and that's great. It helps with literacy. But there's also, you, you introduce other activities that go along right. with the book, sort of extend mm -hmm. the fun of the book. Right. And so what we'll do a lot of times is there may be a couple of pages that we spend a little bit more time on in a book. Okay. Um, so we're asking them some open-ended questions so they can tell us what they think is happening in the story. What might happen next? Mm -hmm. How do you think that character feels? So with all of that, you're working on all those red kindergarten readiness skills. Right. Like social, emotional, right. cognitive, the language, the literacy, yeah. even some math. I mean, a lot of our books, well, you can put in math into any book. We call it mathematizing <laughs> books. It is a real word. Yeah, <laughs> or, well, yeah. even if it, the book isn't focused on the number of things in the book, you uh, could be telling the story and say, well, how many people are in this picture? Right. And mm -hmm. uh, you've mathematized the book. <laughs> right, right. So, um, so all of that. And so we try to get the kids involved. And then in between each book, we might do a song or a finger play. Mm -hmm. And the reason we do that is not only to get the wiggles out, mm -hmm. but also it kind of gets all those neurons in the brain. Oh. Nice. firing and making connections so they're ready to take in information from the next story. Oh, nice. And so it's it's just um, important to the learning process. Now, so, what mm -hmm. is a finger play? I think the first time I heard the, the term was mm -hmm. when I started working at the library. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, hmm. Well, that is a song or a rhyme where you use your fingers. So okay. everybody knows the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Yes. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water I spout. think I always did that. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. So you're doing the motions <laughs> okay. with it. And that was a good point. Yes, you always do it this way, which is great for preschoolers, not so great for toddlers. Oh. So for toddlers, you tend to just go up like oh. this because oh. they can connect their fingers. But this is a little bit of a harder, it, that's, fine motor it, That is. That's, that's a little more complicated. Mm -hmm. you got like the, right. the wrist twist going yes. on. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're developing all those fine motor skills whenever oh, you do nice. a finger play. And we do a lot of um, gross motor activities too, so you okay. we might get up and do the hokey pokey. Oh fun. And um, so, or we might do if you're happy and you know it, and have them jump up and down and <laughs> spin around. I'm ready to clap my hands. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of things that we do just to keep them interested. And yes. then, you know, story time lasts about a half an hour. Okay. And we always tell parents, your child's story time may not be 30 minutes. <laughs> it may only be 15 minutes. And sure. that is fine. You can take them out of the room. Yes. And then maybe come back in a little bit later. Well, too. and some, some kids might, uh, you, you build that up, mm -hmm. right? Maybe, yeah. it, maybe for the first few times it's 15, but maybe the next time it's 18 minutes mm -hmm. or 20. And I, I know that the same thing is um, with my son. Like when we were first reading at night at bedtime, 
we didn't get very far. Right. But as we go, it's like he wants to read more and more mm -hmm. and more before bed. And it's finally you're like, well, we do have to go to bed sometime. Yeah. <laughs> but we yeah. actually have to sleep. Right. <laughs> so that exactly. same kind of, of thing, it, like they build up those muscles, those of, of attentiveness and right. being able to, you know, interact yeah. for, for certain lengths of time. And so. that's important, uh, getting ready for kindergarten yeah. skills. So coming to story time, you're practicing those sitting and listening Wonderful. and participating. So right now we have all family story time. Okay. So they're all 30 minutes. Um, but in the fall at North Spokane and Spokane Valley, we'll be starting in, again with our play and learn story times. Okay. Where we'll have at North Spokane and Spokane Valley, we'll have baby toddler okay. preschool and we'll still have a family story time okay. also. And each of those is the the activities and the stories are kind of geared, geared for the age. Yes. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cuz you have different mm -hmm. needs, right. skill needs at those ages. Yeah. Okay. And for family story time we try to gear it towards that 4-year-old age cuz okay. it kind of hits in the middle 3 sure. to 4 years old. So we may start with a longer story and then you'll notice as our um, story time person is reading, the stories get shorter and shorter, ah, and that's to okay. just help with the attentiveness Wonderful. and their attention span. All right. And we still have some online story times yes. mm -hmm. um, that happen every week, so mm -hmm. you can register for those at our website, um, scle.org, and if you go to our events calendar, you'll find them there. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, anything else we want to share about story time or, or what you've noticed over the years about, about story time and the kids who attend? You know, I think right now we're in a really interesting spot with COVID. And so yes. um, I think when we're working on story time, we're working on a lot of social emotional skills because kids haven't been together. Yeah. So, I mean, for kids that haven't been around a lot of kids, this is very surprising. It always takes kids a little bit of time mm -hmm. to get used to being around a lot of other kids. Yeah. Um, so if you bring them and you find that they just seem a little distracted, mm -hmm. you know, don't worry about it, just keep coming because after a while they just get more used to it. Right. And especially I notice with like the babies and stuff, mm -hmm. when we first do a baby story time and we have new babies in the group, they're more interested in each other of than course. anything of else course. going around because they see this other little person yes, that's like, like there's them. another another one like me. Yes. <laughs> another person of my size. <laughs> yes. And so there might be a lot more interacting yes. and also, you know, they might not know not to talk during the story. Sure. And that's okay, you know, that's why, you know, we have the parents there so you can guide them or grandma or grandpa may be sitting with mm -hmm. them and just say, oh, let's just wait a few minutes. Yeah. And the librarian or the storyteller will oftentimes just say, oh, we're going to wait just a minute and then we'll have time to talk and ask questions. Okay. Or they may go with it because it may be something that they see like, oh, you're right. Look at that dog hiding behind the chair. Oh. He's waiting to come out, that type oh, of a wow. thing. Okay. So, yes. So that's, that's great. And, I, and I hadn't thought about it. We've, we've have some kiddos that for the past couple of years, they just haven't had in-person story time. So they're just mm -hmm. not used to it. So uh, they could be a little bit older child in right. preschool age, mm -hmm. toddler age, that this could be their very first story time. And yes. that's OK. Mm -hmm. That is OK. There's yeah. always a first time yeah. to come to story time. And if it only lasts. 10, 15 minutes for your child, that is totally okay. Yeah. And so when we put the toys out, that's a time for kids and parents to interact with each other too. So Great. That'll be and when we have the toys out again, mm -hmm. we have, uh, we're, we're doing special sanitization. Mm -hmm. Is that a word? Mm -hmm. yeah. We're sanitizing things yes. <laughs> in between story times. Yeah. Yes. And um, so that'll be clear, that'll be safe. Mm -hmm. And we, yeah. you know, we're taking that step of just to, for anybody who's concerned, concerned yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and um, this is great and wonderful and story time is great and wonderful and thank you so much and your team oh, for all the work welcome. you do thank you it's and so much fun for us oh good <laughs> well I, you guys love it that's yep, why you yep, do it no, we do love it <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna love story time with your little one come and check it out um, you know and keep checking it out because it's a great adventure for the little kids uh, the youngest kids in the library. Also, you know, get them a library card when you come yes, to story time. That's the perfect present. You can, you, the day you're born, you can get a library card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. We'll see you down here at the library at story time and have a great time. We'll see you next week.